everybody's got a secret, including some of the biggest filmmakers in Hollywood. Even as millions of moviegoers enjoy their projects in the theater, there are some things the movie doesn't reveal on the surface. Most will never stop to think about or realize some shocking behind-the-scenes revelations until now. Here are Screen Rant's 10 amazing secrets about popular films. Kingsman The Secret Service a criticism about modern action movies is that they're sensory overload, flooding the screen with CGI and too many special effects to keep track of. Viewers aren't sure what they're supposed to pay attention to, but that isn't a problem with Kingsman. When constructing the action sequences, director Matthew Vaughn made sure all of the action was framed centrally, meaning that the viewer's eyes never have to leave the middle of the frame. That's a nice touch that makes Kingsman easier to watch, even if our brains didn't realize why everything was so pleasant to follow. Mad Max Fury Road Whenever a franchise reboots and recasts a legendary role like Mad Max, there's sure to be some audience skepticism, even when the filmmakers land a talent like Tom Hardy. But before he took the part, Hardy had his doubts as well, and even had lunch with Mel Gibson, the original Max, to discuss the possibility. During their time, Gibson told Hardy he was fine with Hardy taking up the role and gave him his blessing. That was enough to convince Hardy it was the right move, and he proved to be a strong choice to headline the series for years to come. Furious 7 the Fast and Furious series is known for featuring cars. Lots and lots of cars. Dominic Toretto and his crew are always shifting gears and driving fast to get where they need to go, often completing death-defying stunts so they can accomplish their mission. They're also rather destructive. For Furious 7, more than 230 cars were destroyed during production, creating headaches and nightmares for various insurance agencies. We were all for emphasizing practical effects, but this is an instance where some CGI may have been better. That seems like a lot of vehicular carnage for a single film, regardless of how popular it is. Well, as much as I hate to admit it, he's on to something there. Avengers Age of Ultron Fans enjoy watching the enormous green rage monster known as the Hulk smash everything on screen. But did you know he was supposed to be a different color? Originally, Marvel had intended for Hulk to be gray in the comics, but the company's printers couldn't get the color right, and the character came off as green on certain pages. Marvel eventually switched Hulk's primary color to green as if nothing else ever happened, and when their printing capabilities improved, they established Grey Hulk as another persona Bruce Banner could transform into. Joss Whedon thought of using Grey Hulk in Age of Ultron, so maybe he'll be in the MCU one day. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. Star Wars The Force Awakens Daisy Ridley's Rey is now one of the most popular faces in the franchise and a hero fans can't wait to see again. They have Ridley's director to thank for how things turned out. On her first day on the set, J.J. Abrams told Ridley that her performance was wooden and nearly caused the actress to have a panic attack. Whatever coaching Abrams provided seemed to work, since the newcomer Ridley was praised by many critics and quickly became a household name. If Abrams didn't step in, maybe the entire sequel trilogy would have been derailed before it even kicked off. Jurassic World Usually when a Hollywood blockbuster features tons of product placement, it's at the order of the studio looking for a little help covering costs but things were handled a little differently for Jurassic World. Director Colin Trevorrow was the mastermind behind the decision, seeing it as an amusing way to satirize the corporatization of popular culture. Just about everything has a sponsor these days, grounding the dinosaur adventure in a world that the audience is very familiar with, and it provided a fair share of laughs. We doubt Verizon Wireless wants any part of the Indominus Rex now. Spectre when a new James Bond film is coming through the pipeline, one thing viewers want to know is the musical artist providing the opening credits song. Spectre went with Sam Smith's Writing on the Wall, but they could have gone in a different direction. Grammy-winning band Radiohead recorded a title song called Spectre, which was released after the film came out. Both tunes have their fans, but it's hard to argue with the filmmaker's judgment. Smith got nominated for an Oscar for his work, adding his name to the long list of accolades for original Bond songs. Creed one of the most famous sequences in the Rocky spin-off is Adonis Johnson's first professional fight, which appears to be shot in one continuous take. Directors are known for using some digital trickery to hide editing cuts and create the illusion of a single take, but Creed's cinematographer says this is the real deal with no post-production stitching involved. During production, Ryan Coogler shot 13 takes of the scene, eventually using the 11th in the final film. The fights in Creed were very much acclaimed, and with hard work like this, it's easy to see why. The Martian a big part of this film's story is astronaut Mark Watney coping with isolation while stranded on Mars, and director Ridley Scott went the extra mile to hammer that aspect home. Scott stated that Matt Damon's solo scenes were shot for five weeks straight, and then the actor was relieved from the production schedule. As a result of this tactic, Damon didn't meet most of his co-stars until the cast reunited to promote the film. That may seem odd, but it fit the nature of the narrative, and The Martian garnered widespread critical acclaim, so it's hard to argue with Scott's handling of his stars. Mission Impossible Rogue Nation 
It was well documented before the film's release that Tom Cruise performed Ethan Hunt's daring plane stunt at the beginning for real, taking off with an actual plane. But Cruise's daredevil nature didn't stop there. Always up for the extreme, Cruise did all of his own driving stunts as well, most prominently in Rogue Nation's Morocco car chase sequence. Cruise's efforts even influenced his co-star Simon Pegg, who also did his own stunts. Pegg said being around Cruise made him feel obliged to do things for real, and moviegoers were very pleased with the results. Who knows what they'll deliver next? Those are our picks for amazing secrets of popular movies. Are there any we missed? Which ones are your favorites? Sound off in the comments section below and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this 